Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you finding and replacing lost files in Reaper. I have a project set up here with some drums, a bass, a guitar, and a vocal. And if I quit Reaper, we can see the files right here in the song folder in a folder I named audio my drums, bass, guitars, and vocals. But let's say these files wound up in a different place and we lost them. Let's select them and drag them to this folder here called Lost Files. Now, if we open up this project, Reaper shows us this dialog because it can't find those files or that media, starting with the drums. There's a few options we could choose from. We could search in our hard drive. We could browse for the file. We could abort loading this project or leave the files offline or ignore all the missing ones. Let's start by searching for the files. There's a few options that come with this. Right up here, when multiple matches are found, because we're starting just with the drums, it's going to match any matching file, which is the fastest. We could also choose newest modification or oldest, biggest file size or smallest, or longest or shortest path name. Let's just choose the fastest. And we could also choose unsuccessful search to auto search for other missing files. And on failed search to leave that file offline and auto search for more. Let's see these two options on. And let's do a search. Now we could search in very specific folders, or in this case, my entire hard drive, which is going to take a bit longer. Let's give it a shot. Now it found the drums and the vocals, but it didn't find the bass or the guitars. So let's try it a different way. This time we'll choose in a certain folder. Right over here, in this folder, we have the lost files and the song file. Let's try searching in here. Hit enter. And now very quickly, it found those files and brought them in to Reaper. Or at least Reaper is pointing to the files. Now we could also browse for the files. Open it up again. And this time we'll choose, instead of searching, to just browse and manually find the files. Right in this folder, the lost files, and it's looking for the drums. But again, if it sees the other files in this folder, it's going to automatically reference them. Double click it, and now it found all the files that were missing. Now we could also choose to ignore all the missing files and just open up our project. And then it tells us which files were missing. And then it opens the project, but we can't use these files. Although Reaper still remembers where they were and what they were doing. So if we need to find them later, we could still work on this project. Now we could also manually drag them in, go to that folder, Let's find the drums and drag it in to the drum track. And if we let go, Reaper gives us options to decide how it's imported. We could insert it as new media, add as a source as a new take, replace it with the source media, or replace all the occurrences with the target media on that track. Let's choose this one. And then it found our drums. And we just do it one at a time with the bass. With the guitar. And finally, with the vocal. And then I found all those files. In this situation, it actually copied them 
to our folder right here. So now we have two copies of the files. Let's quit this. Now, if we happen to accidentally rename our files, let's see what happens. Let's delete these and rename these. And now if we open Reaper and try to do a search in that same folder, Reaper's not going to find those files. They have a different name than before. But we can still manually browse for the files and replace them there. Go to the lost files, choose our drums, then it's searching for the bass. Choose the bass, and so on. And that's going to work as well if we accidentally rename our files. Although we could also just drag them in manually. Our drums. Our bass. Our guitar. And the vocal. Now it's a good idea once we found our missing files to resave the project in a new folder. But before we do that, let me show you a setting that I like to use to put our media or our audio into a separate folder. Go to File and choose Project Settings. Go over here to the Media tab and create a folder or a subfolder in our project folder to save all our media. I name mine audio, you can call it media, or whatever you want. Just keeps the project folder a little more organized. And if we save it as the default project settings, all our new projects will have this folder already created for it. So now we could save this project, save project as, and let's put it in the same place with the same name, but make sure we choose create subdirectory for project and copy all media into that directory. So now if we save it with the same name, it's going to rewrite it, but put everything in the same folder. So now if we open up that song folder we just saved, there's a folder in here called audio with all the audio files in it. So now if we open it up, It automatically found our media and it'll always be saved in the same folder. So hopefully we won't lose it or misplace it again. So that's pretty much it. That's finding and replacing lost files in Reaper. Hope you learned something. Hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks.